Unofficial village-wide party in Fredonia is this weekend. Fred Fest, as it's called, often brings with it arrests, fights, and a big headache for the police. As News 4's Jen Schantz tells us, law enforcement is taking a different approach this year. Jen? Well, I'm here at Day Street and Central Avenue in the village of Fredonia. It's an area police tell me is very popular for parties during Fred Fest. This year, if you're planning on getting rowdy, keep in mind you'll be on camera. Police will also be posting the names, charges, and mug shots of anyone who gets into trouble on their Facebook page. They say it's their way to deter potential lawbreakers. We asked people in the village of Fredonia today if they think this new effort will be effective. This is my first year going, so I've never actually been. But Chantel Perez thinks knowing your face could end up on social media in a negative light will have an impact. I think they might be a little bit behaved, definitely are going to be thinking about the decisions they might be making. That's what Fredonia's chief of police, Bradley Meyer, is hoping for. What we're doing is simply using social media to get the message out that uh, this is how we're going to be dealing with it. Fredonia police started using body cameras about six months ago. Chief Meyer got the thumbs up from the village's mayor on using them during Fred Fest. He says complaints from homeowners prompted this decision. I think maybe it will help people understand that this is a public event, but you need to be smart at the same time. It's over the top. It's unfair for students. One little mistake they make in college shouldn't deter them from any job opportunities they have in the future. Judges will be on duty all night for on-the-spot arraignments. Last year, Fredonia police arrested about 50 people during Fred Fest, mostly for public intoxication and underage drinking. We were way too overwhelmed with uh, the sheer number of people. We couldn't really make arrests last year. Fredonia police will have assistance this year from Dunkirk PD, the Chautauqua County Sheriff's Office, and state police. Chief Meyer expects several thousand people will be in Fredonia this weekend for Fred Fest. He says in years past, the majority of the issues have been caused by out-of-towners who come to the village to party. Reporting in Fredonia, Jen Schantz, News 4 at 6.